Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. We're in the western suburbs of Chicago. I'm here with Buzz. Buzz, Hi, good to see you. Good to see you, Lou. There are certain cars I come out to see because you do not see them. So this is my goal is to leave a historical legacy of cars. This is one of those cars. Buzz, what did you buy and have here today? We're taking a look at my 1960 Edsel Ranger Convertible, Lou. Uh, one of 76 that were ever built. Ever built Ever. 76. Okay, so just because of time, I'm going to jump right in. So, Buzz, kind of come along with me as we're looking at the car. So, what you have another Edsel, and you were in Arizona showing that Edsel, and what was the discussion with this individual? Well, I had my 59 Corsair convertible at a car show, and uh, you know, people always are coming up and talking with you, and a gentleman. Uh, uh, was uh, talking to me about my car, and then and I happened to mention just in passing that my dream would be to find a 60 Edsel Corsair convertible, I'm sorry, Ranger convertible someday, uh, because they're so rare, uh, with only 76 having been made. And he said, you're really looking for a 60 convertible? I have one for sale. That is divine intervention. It, it is. If you don't believe in God, that's evidence right there, in my opinion. That's un believable one of 76 ever built he comes up I happen to have one for sale I've heard about this car never seen it and as you can see I'm touching it we'll clean, <laughs> we'll clean up that chrome spot in a second all right come on back with me so all right now he tells you he's got a 60 Edsel Ranger and can you even sleep at that point, Buzz? I mean, what's going on in your mind? Because it's a car that you've... First of all, why did you always want an Edsel? I always like the, uh, the cars that are a little bit different, uh, you know, rather than the, uh, the everyday cars that you see at all the shows. Uh, uh, I kind of like American Motors and Studebakers and Packards and uh, didn't have anything from Ford Motor Company, so I thought, what better strange car than an Edsel? Um, so I got the 59 and... Uh, as fate would have it, this uh, 1960 kind of fell into my lap. And uh, have you, it. how many 60s convertible or hardtop have you ever seen? Hardtops are quite rare also. Uh, I've probably seen uh, maybe one hardtop and probably uh, two convertibles. Really? You have seen two convertibles? Yes. All right. uh, these cars were so rare and so collectible, instant, instantly collectible when Edsel went out of business in 1960 that people uh, knew they were going to be worth something someday. So uh, out of 76, uh, there's probably 25 or so that are still roadworthy. Can we open the trunk area? Sure. Usually I wouldn't show the trunk. Excuse me. Let me. Get yeah, me. let's get those keys. While you're doing that, I'm going to feature these tails, lights. And this car in the Edsel show in 2012 was best in show. And just look at that piece there. I'll give you that while we're waiting. So back to the story. So you see this, wh whose signature here, Buzz? That is Jim Arnold. He's one of the original uh, design team uh, for the Edsels uh, back in the day. Uh, we met him at, uh, at an Edsel convention, and uh, it was a real honor to, to meet one of the yeah. uh, uh, original uh, guys uh, on the Edsel team. Um, we'll shut that. Go ahead. Okay. Tell me about that. That thing is slammed there. And then this is the... This is your gas filler right. door right here, right through the Edsel S. <laughs> All right. Put some gas in your S. All right. So you met him. So so when this guy finally told you he had one, was it kind of like, are you kidding me? Was it like, I can't believe this is true? I, I was scared to death that uh, something was going to happen, and uh, it was too good to be true. Uh, he was from northern Indiana, and, of course, we're from the Chicago area. Uh, so uh, when we came back uh, uh, to our, our homes, uh, I raced right out there and uh, um, made a decision right away to purchase the car right on the spot because... Uh, you know, you'll never find another one. Now, Buzz, was your wife on board with this decision? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. No. All right. Uh, but she's, Men take she's, note. She's, she's come around. She's on board now. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's learned to love love the Edsel. And the color of this car is? It's buttercup yellow. And, uh, now that helps with a wife to have a buttercup yellow, doesn't it? That absolutely. doesn't hurt. In okay, fact, all right. Uh, we, we named the car Little Buttercup. Little Buttercup. See that? That's how you get your wife on board. That is great. And I'm just really taking my time because you're just not going to see this maybe ever again. Now, it wasn't a Ford Edsel, was it? No, Edsel was a division of the Ford Motor Company. They were uh, positioned uh, uh, kind of between uh, Ford and uh, Mercury, uh, meant to compete kind of with uh, you know Pontiac and Oldsmobile uh, of General Motors. Uh, that, at least that was the idea. It didn't work out very well. But that was the thinking. And this but polar air was a standard, uh, an option, the, I'm assuming? The air conditioner uh, would have been dealer installed at the time. That's the unit that the dealers would put in when the uh, cars uh, came in from the factory. If the customer wanted air conditioning, this is what they put in. And That's, it works. And it works. Quite well, actually. Quite well. Unbelievable. I'm trying to get every badge. Get the big E there. All right, let's uh, let's look under the hood. Buttercup yellow. This is just one of these jaw dropper cars for me because this is, I mean, everything is new. As far as I'm, I mean, I mean, this is a brand new car. Unbelievable. It's only got about uh, less than 3,000 miles uh, since the uh, total restoration. Wow. That's a Ford uh, 292 engine, uh, two barrel carburetor. One of the things I like too, Buzz, is you're a guy who drives his cars. And uh, there's the air conditioning unit. And everything else. Let's uh, let's hear Buttercup start, shall we? Exhaust note and a little rev. That sounds good. That sounds good. Buzz, Buzz, let's shut her down for just a moment and let's close the hood. We're not going to uh, slow down this video just because of the uniqueness of your car. Let's uh, let's take the top down and if we might, while you're doing that, if we might, there's a kind of Edsel logo there. Um, Let's take, the, uh, let's take the top down. Let's take a quick ride, shall we? Sure. All right, that would be great. I like the Edsel logo in the mirror. Go ahead. I'm going to feature the car while you're uh, doing some of the zip, some of the zipping it out. So let, let's just see what you got to do to get a 60 Edsel. First of all, there's this big clip. the top. Okay. Now we go in the back to unzip the rear window. While you're doing that, I'm going to look at one thing you just showed me that I want to catch a glimpse of, which is that right there. And then there's the zipping of the back window that we have to do to have the window sit like so. Very nice. And that's a big back window. Now we're ready to lower the top. Nice, there's the horn. Horn works. Horn works. Didn't you just start it or anything? No, it just hasn't been down for a long yeah. time, so it uh, needs a little pressure to build up in the uh, motor. That's it. Now we put the boot on. 
Let's put the boot on. I can help with that. There we go. I've seen you do that. I can figure that piece out. I'm gonna jump on this side since we're gonna be snapping. Best to start uh, in the front. In the front, yeah. Okay. Do I need to push here a little bit? There we go. For those at home, I'll be careful. I'm gonna let Buzz do more of it than I am. Buzz, for these ones that are kind of tight on my side, I'm gonna let you do more of those. Yeah, if the boot hasn't been in for a while, they on for a while, they uh, have a tendency to uh, shrink, shrink a, little. a little bit. Yeah. And uh, you need to get stretched out just a little bit. I'll get those. Looked. All right. There. Yeah. Fortunately, you generally only have to do this once, maybe twice a season. <laughs> and it looks great with the boot on. Look at that. Let me get a shot of the car while you're doing that with the top down. Oh, that's spectacular. Let's take a quick ride. Let's take a ride. We're gonna shut the garage here. Hello, Buttercup. and the floor mats. Let's go for a little ride in our 60 Edsel Ranger convertible. Plus, what's the reaction when you drive this thing? Um, Puzzled stairs. <laughs> like, what is it? I mean, what is it? <laughs> yes. And uh, most people are astonished because they've never seen one and will likely never see another one. Yeah, this is amazing. Where, where have the other convertibles or even 60s that you've seen? Have they been California cars? There's uh, at least two of them in, uh, in the Phoenix area. Okay. Um, and uh, are they Buttercup Yellow? No, the two that I know of in Arizona are uh, red and uh, white. Red and white, okay. Right. So you won't confuse yours in the parking lot if you see theirs? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> now the gentleman that I bought this car from also has a white one in his own personal collection and he also has a metallic lilac one which is absolutely out of this world. 60s? Yes. Really? Yes. So he has three. He had three of he them. He had three. Right. Unbelievable. Right. Yeah. Now this is a cruiser. We're not going to do anything silly in this one. We're not going to do any burnouts or anything like that. That's not the kind of car this is. This car, you're just you, you care for it and love it. Well, like a buttercup, you take care of it. You, like like <laughs> exactly. holding a like holding a plant. <laughs> yes. You don't uh, you know like hold an egg. <laughs> It's got uh, Ford Automatic uh, two-speed automatic transmission. T tell me what that means, Ford Automatic. Uh, it was just what they called uh, their uh, their automatic transmission. They had different names uh, for uh, you know the three-speed and the two-speed, and through the years as the uh, transmissions changed, they called them different things. But it was uh, similar, comparable to uh, uh, Chevy Powerglide. Okay. Two-speed automatic. Do me one favor. 
we're not get, gonna jump on it, but give it a little acceleration. I just want to hear. That sounds pretty good. Okay. The other thing I want you to do is let's slow down. I actually want you to have me get out here, and I'm gonna let you drive by me. I'm gonna okay. have Buttercup drive by so people can get the feel for that. Okay. This is this is really a treat. Give me one minute. Not gonna see that every day. Buzz, before we split, I wanna do a couple of things. First of all, I wanna get the tail with the brakes on. There's your tail lights. Buzz, throw it in reverse for a second, would you? I don't see the reverse lights, but that's okay. All right. Buzz, unbelievable. I mean, I have nothing else to say. Thanks for bringing Buttercup out. Thanks for letting us see a car we just don't see. And thanks for being on my car story. My pleasure, man.